A pro-choice rally was held today at the Capitol building. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. There was a large crowd that gathered at the Capitol there to uh, advocate for a woman's right to choose. That's right. This was in response to a number of other states passing restrictive laws on abortion. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Zach Worthington has all the details for us in our top story this evening. He was at the rally in state Capitol today and spoke with some of the folks there. Zach? Right, and Megan, the topic of abortion has really heated up lately around the country, and Nebraskans wanted to make sure that their voice was heard. We stand up today for all Nebraskans and declare that reproductive justice is a basic human right. This was the scene Tuesday at the state capitol building. Hundreds of pro-choice supporters came from around the state. Kathy Fox drove from Omaha to attend the rally. She says women's reproductive rights and access to health care is very important to her. All of the changes that have been happening in states across our country have made me nervous for myself and for my fellow females. And I want to make sure that I'm using my voice and my privilege. Those changes Kathy is talking about? Several states, including Alabama, Georgia, and Missouri, recently passed laws that made abortion illegal after six to eight weeks of pregnancy. People who attended Tuesday's rally say they're concerned that this could happen in Nebraska, too. I think that's terrifying. Um, I think we also know that abortions aren't going to stop just because they're illegal, and so if we really are valuing life, we need to value women's lives as well. What we need is access to affordable health care. Yeah! Governor Ricketts has shown public support for the recent actions of Alabama and others. He says Nebraska is a pro-life state, meaning the lives of unborn children must be protected. He says moving forward, he'd like to work with pro-life state senators to work on a bill similar to those aforementioned states. I would love to work with senators if uh, they want to pass further pro-life legislation, like uh, you know, making that uh, 20 weeks uh, something that's uh, you know a less period of time. I'd absolutely work with senators on our ability to be able to do that. Kathy and others say it was empowering to be surrounded by women voicing their opinion. She also says it's worrisome to think the Supreme Court ruling of Roe v. Wade, which established that women have the right to abortion, could be undone. And it's very terrifying to think about us going so far back um, and, and going back to really risky situations. We wouldn't take any other type of health care backwards. Governor Ricketts says it's too late in the legislative session to form any new bills concerning this. He says they'll address it next year. Zach Worthington with our top story night. Thank you, Zach. Yeah.